Welcome back to more of SpongeBob SquarePants Creature from the Krusty Krab on the Game Boy Advance walkthrough. Here I am on the next level, which is Alaskan Belly Trouble. This is SpongeBob's nightmare. Delete is basically if you want to delete your save and if you want to replay the, the whole game all over. Spawn has fallen. Now here, basically, what you gotta do is get away from the Alaskan bullworm. You wanna get away from it. When you see the exclamation mark, it means that the Alaskan bullworm is getting ready to come out of the ground. You wanna move out of the way from this Alaskan bullworm. This is the same bullworm from the Spongebob episode. Sandy, Spongebob, and the worm. If you want to dodge this worm, <clears throat> and be careful not to get touched by it. Press A, press A button to jump. Here you gotta press the B button to get away from it. You want to press the B button a lot to get away from it. Don't let this worm catch up to you. <clears throat> that was close because that worm almost took my life away. Watch this. <clears throat> now the worm. Now Spongebob's Spon Spon inside the worm. Now here's the next part where you basically have to make your way. That you're inside the worm. And have to make your way out of here. <clears throat> now here, watch out for what's falling from the ceiling. Careful that goo there. Watch out for the amoebas. Now here is basically the letter Z, but I have to be careful to watch out for these urchins. Now for any reason that they get stuck on Spongebob, get, use the arrow keys <clears throat> use the, on the D-pad on the Game Boy screen to get rid of them. First couple times I played this game, that part really gave me some trouble. How to get the, the urchins off of Spongebob. If, you, if for any reason you don't press the left and right button on the, on the D-pad, those urchins, they'll slow you down. And you don't want that, trust me. <clears throat> you want to keep moving forward and don't let it slow you down. Excuse me. Be careful not to fall <clears throat> in between the gaps there. Now you're probably wondering, with these two bubbles, where to go to from here, when you see two of them floating up at the same time. So just give me a minute, and now you gotta be quick to jump on the bubbles. <clears throat> you wanna get away from that amoeba. And I gotta hurry and hop on him, but when he jump, he won't get to you. Now you see one of health there. Probably wondering how to get how to get to it. Hold on a second. I'll just move that screen that that monitor there's that way it won't the light won't be um blocking it. <clears throat> now don't worry if you don't find all the arcade machines. Just find what you can. Now here are more are more of the urchins they gotta watch out for. And wanna be very quick to get to get the urchins off in order to prevent them um, it from getting onto SpongeBob here.
Here comes another one. And it's hard to get away from them. But it becomes simple like once you figure it out. We're trying to get the urchins off of him. <clears throat> here we gotta jump on some more of the bubbles here. Now here you gotta be quick to jump <clears throat> on these bubbles. You gotta be patient to wait for them. I like with this invincibility you can um that the urchins can't get to you. Whether it's one or two, that's the only way to get them off. Because if you don't get them off, you get the idea. It'll really slow down your progress. I know it's a lot of backtracking, especially when you want to find the exit out of this worm. Found the exit. Here's the next level. Now, now what you gotta do here, just like in the first level, Diesel Dreaming, you gotta find the five pieces to get. In Diesel Dreaming, you basically you have to get the five pieces to get for the engine parts of the car. Well, here you gotta find the five pieces of the plane to get out of here, of this worm. And you never know how many times you're gonna have to backtrack when you, if, you, if there's any, that, <clears throat> any of them that you missed. Like, you need this piece here. Jump on these bubbles. Watch out for the amoeba. For those platforms, those bubbles there, you don't want to jump too soon. And you want to aim at them at the right on the right spot, not the wrong spot. And be careful not to take too much damage there, like I did, which is by jumping at the wrong time. And take a look at that television there. <clears throat> kind of resembles SpongeBob's television. Now here, we gotta get to these bubbles, but I gotta get the urchins off me. That's what happens when you don't shake off the urchins. Hold on a second. Just for a minute here, you can skip ahead a couple minutes. Like here we gotta go to the top here to get the next piece. <clears throat> as soon as the bubble pops, you want you want to immediately drop down. Now here are more urchins you gotta get off. Oh. That's the third piece. I gotta backtrack. I gotta go and... Now I gotta be careful because I don't have enough health. Got some, but I gotta get some more since I'm running low on it.
I'm gonna continue on with more of this level next part. Finally get since I got three, I hope I can find the last two. Of the plane to get out of this worm.